SOLIDWORKS users can be superstitious about a wide range of things. And one of the things that many users are superstitious about is in-context references. You'll find many companies and individuals that have established procedures that they always remove in-context relations at the end of a project. In my mind, this defeats the purpose of using in-context to begin with, and there's no reason to remove the relationships aside from fear that the file management is going to get messed up at some point. Still, sometimes it is necessary to remove the relationships for other reasons. For example, maybe the design intent has changed and you no longer want to drive the assembly parts from a layout sketch. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to lock, break, and remove external references. In an assembly like this, we've got a few in-context references. And if I right-click at the top, we can select the option to show update holders. Every time you create an in-context relation, SOLIDWORKS adds an update holder. These used to be shown in the software by default, but SOLIDWORKS users kept getting confused about what they were. So rather than explain it to SOLIDWORKS users, SOLIDWORKS just hid the icons. So each one of these identifies the parts and features and the assembly that are involved in each and every in-context relationship. What we're going to do here is go through and break these relationships. If you right-click on an in-context feature, one of the choices that you get is List External References. This helps you understand what other entities are involved in this relationship. So the assembly that's involved is the layout assembly name. The features that are involved are we've got four lines in a sketch that are related to four lines of another sketch. Down at the bottom, SOLIDWORKS has two options. The second option here is lock all. Lock all is an option that you can use when you don't want any of the in-context relations to be updated. These will all be locked and will never change as long as they are locked. When you click on the lock all option, SOLIDWORKS is going to lock all of the relations for this particular part. You'll not be able to add any new references or update the existing ones until you unlock the references. The good thing about the lock all option is that it can be unlocked. So it's permanent until you unlock it, which gives you flexibility to change your mind later on. If you lock a relation, it gets a little asterisk on it. And so all the in-context relations in this particular part, including the counterbore, are now locked. But there was another option, and let's take a look at that. Let's open up the next part, right click, List external references and break all. I'm going to go ahead and click this. All external references of the model part six will be broken. You will not be able to activate these references again. That sounds attractive to some people, but when you say OK, what happens is that you still got the external reference. It's just now broken and you can't repair it. So this is a situation where there's really no good news. You can't go forward, you can't go backwards. If you really want to get rid of it, you've still got to do something else. But there is no magic button that allows you to unbreak something that's broken. The lock all enables you to unlock, but break all does not have a similar option. So let's say OK. If you said break on this, then you've got to go into the sketch if you want to get rid of all of the relationships, use the display delete relations and anything that has an in-context symbol on it, you want to delete. You could select them manually and say delete or my choice is usually to go to the defined in context option from the drop down and then just hit delete all. This leaves us with a rectangle that has no relationship to the outside world. It's underdefined, and you probably should go through and redefine it at this point. When I get out of this sketch, notice that the in-context symbol for the sketch has gone away. 
but the in-context symbol for the whole is still there. The truth is that using break all is just a messy way of doing things. And if you've got an option, you should probably pick the other option. Lock all is certainly better, and going through and editing sketches, like I just did, to remove in-context relations is much more thorough than break. Another option that I can show you that also has some problems is if you open up the part with the in-context relation and you want to lock it down or freeze it, you can use the freeze bar. We've talked about the freeze bar before, but when it's used with in-context relations, it can sometimes cause difficulties. Remember that in the engine assembly, using the freeze bar on one of the parts caused a perpetual rebuild symbol on the top level assembly. That was again another part with an in-context relation. If you don't get the freeze bar on your feature tree, it's this yellow bar under the name of the part, it may not be turned on. You can go to Tools, Options, and in the General page, Enable Freeze Bar must be turned on in order to get access to the freeze bar.